Huh. What the hell is this place? Three steps of trick. No, 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 no. Not gonna happen. No. You know what? I never take any risks. Let's see what's going on. Okay. <clears throat> Hello? Hello, is anyone there? Oh, hey. Yeah, I can see you under the table. Dude? Hello? No, you know what? This is just stupid. I'm going to get murdered here or something. See you, weird dude. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sam, a.k.a. Ruby T. Uh, and this is episode six of our, our Pokemon Emerald Randomized Nuzlocke. If you haven't already, please go and check out the other videos. Subscribe to the channel. Like and comment on the videos. All that good stuff. Uh, and I'm sure you can get up to date as soon as, as, soon as you need to. So... Uh, at the end of our last uh, episode, we'd beaten our, our dad's gym. Uh, we've got Surf. Thankfully, Bully Bull can learn it, so we're able, to, uh, we're able to progress the game. One of the problems we found in this game is sometimes uh, weird Pokemon can learn TMs and HMs, although I think the HMs are kind of, they're all right. They're not too bad. They're not too messed up. So, um, yeah, uh, we were able to teach that to Bully Bull, and we headed out towards, uh, towards our little route you surf across to Moorville or, well, that sort of direction anyway. Um, we couldn't get a new encounter here because this, even though it's the water, it's the same route as the, uh, as the grass a little bit earlier on. There was a double battle here though. I always forget there's a double battle here on Emerald that's not on Ruby and Sapphire. Pokemon are really low level, so we managed to kind of, um, we managed to take those guys down. It wasn't too much of a problem. Uh, and we were able to get on our way. We got to Moorville and old man Watson was standing in the middle of the road, just doing nothing, asked us to go and help him out. Um, we, uh, so we went down to New Moorville to go and turn off the generator. Our first encounter in New Moorville was... Da, 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 da. Uh, yeah, here you go. It was Zapdos, right? Uh, who was expecting that? Certainly not me. Um, so here we go. Here's a question for you, everybody. Can I catch Zapdos with only Pokeballs? That is the question. You can see, I don't know if you can quite see because I've sped up the video. I had 80 Pokeballs. 8-0 Pokeballs. That is how many I had. How many do you think it's going to take to catch it? Not that many. We killed it, uh, and uh, we had to move on our way. But there we go. Um, we uh, we grabbed a few decent bits and bobs, a few decent items, and we um, and we headed back out of New Morville to go and get what would usually be the Thunderbolt TM from Watson. Uh, but this time was um, was something random. I can't remember what it was. It wasn't very good. But uh, that was done. Uh, we've helped him out, and we were ready to head on with the rest of our adventure. Um, we went down this route where we were able to catch another new Pokemon because we haven't caught one out on this route yet. Uh, so surfing around, we managed to find ourselves a really nice looking Barboach. Uh, and guess what? Did I catch the Barboach? Oh no I didn't! I killed another one! I keep killing all of our encounters, I don't know why, it's really getting on my nerves, I keep critting everything. But anyway, breathe, let's carry on. Uh, we, beat, we fought the reporters who had a really pretty tough team of Steelix and Metagross but uh, thankfully our own Steelix and, uh, and Big Wolf here were able to take him down and we could move on our way, it was no real problem. We ran into Steven again, he chatted some absolute rubbish at us uh, and Bully Bull Surf came in handy taking down his Macargo and we carried on on our little journey. Um, again, we actually ran into some really tough trainers on this, um, on this little route here. Um, some of them not so bad but a lot of them were really, really tough. Um, really, really bad matchups for us. Some of them weren't so bad, so we managed to take down this bay leaf and cool fish without too much trouble. And we headed up onto Route 119 to go and catch our next new Pokemon. Maybe, just maybe, I'd actually be able to catch this one. It was Altaria, uh, which is a pretty cool encounter having a dragon Pokemon. Got it down, put it to sleep, and I, I picked up a Safari Ball, so I wanted to see if I could use a Safari Ball outside in the regular regular routes. I could, and I caught it. Uh, now I'm wondering if maybe the mechanics of Safari Balls out in the wild was like a guaranteed catch rate or something. If so, I'm probably going to regret using it, but there we go. Uh, we messed around on our bike up on Route 119, uh, searched for some hidden items, found a couple of bits and bobs, um, and yeah, carried on making our way forwards. This was a tough battle. If it weren't for Shrimp knowing Sword Stance, uh, we would have really struggled here. Uh, against these rock trainers. It's weird, sometimes the double battles seem to have, like, the, the trainers have the same Pokemon as each other, the same type Pokemon, but uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, we moved on to the Weather Institute to take on Team Aqua, who, as per usual, were being their irritating selves. Uh, Aldrin blitzed through a lot of it, uh, all by himself, which was really, really nice. Uh, taking down the Hitmochan. Then we had this double battle here, possibly the hardest double battle ever. Blaziken, Shiftry, Rayquaza, um, 
<clears throat> really, really tough Pokemon. Every time I took one down, I was thinking, it's all right, we'll get an easier one to replace it. It won't be too much trouble. Then we had a flipping Snorlax, and thankfully their move choices were poor, uh, and we were able to get through it. But that was a real dangerous situation for us losing Pokemon again. Um, Mewtwo was, uh, was the admin's ace. Thankfully, we've still got good old Wolf, who seems to save the day for us more than, uh, more than you give him credit for. Although here, he did nearly fall down. Uh, it, was a, it was a really tight battle, but we managed to get through it, so yeah, I can't complain. Uh, we received the cast form, which wasn't actually a cast form, it was a Latios, but it's a gift Pokemon, uh, which means we can't use it. It was time to take on May, um, uh, which is, again, it's always one of those things where you don't know, is she going to have a really strong team, is she going to have a weak team, is it going to be somewhere in the middle? She led out with Kingdra, which was not great for us, because we led with Pewter, um, so it really wasn't the kind of perfect lead. Uh, but we went into Aldrin. Got smoke screened, um, which was dangerous. We did have swift if things got really bad, but um, but thankfully we didn't we didn't need it right away. I decided to put up a light screen to kind of mitigate the damage we were taking, so that if we did miss a few thunder punches, uh, it wouldn't matter. I decided, seeing the damage that it did with water gun after the light screen, that we'd just go for a swift, take a little chip down, and then we could just swing with one more thunder punch. Uh, next up was wall rain. We were still down on accuracy, but we managed to land a thunder punch, uh, and her final Pokemon was again not too much trouble either to be honest with you uh, it really wasn't too hard it was Nuzleaf um, and we were able to switch into uh, to the good boy Wolf who once again Wolf comes to the rescue takes a fake out and just whacks this thing with a fire punch no real trouble done with May uh, and moving on to uh, to Four Tree City um, where we could uh, where we could go and do some more stuff uh, we chatted to that stupid Scott dude some more he's always around always being annoying um, and we made our way through Fortree City, out to the other side. Um, took on this trainer, who I remember doing a run here before. And I lost because she had a legendary Pokemon, this, uh, this trainer. But thankfully, she, well, she did have one again, but thankfully we managed to, to beat it with Pewter. Uh, it was just a Latias, so they're not too strong so far in this game for us. Uh, we ran into Steven again, who, uh, who I can't help but think, by the way, Steven. You've just seen us literally like five minutes ago. You could have given us the stupid scope already, but... Hey, what can you do? Uh, it was time for our next encounter, and this time it was Spinarak, which uh, gave me a real throwback to Pokemon Hard Gold Nuzlocke we did, where we caught Ocho the Spinarak. Uh, but there we go, on to the gym trainers. Uh, we had no problem with this Quagsire. Uh, we got revenge for poor old uh, Toothy, who got taken out by stupid Maxi's Quagsire uh, earlier on in the, in the day. Um, however, this is where things got kind of dicey, uh, I'll be honest with you. I, uh, I made the mistake, the mistake of all mistakes here. I thought that by using Rollout once on this Dragonite um, and then using it a second time on the same Dragonite, we'd have enough power to take out the Wobbuffet with a Thunder Punch and a Rollout. Um, because I was so dangerous, obviously Wobbuffet is such a dangerous Pokemon, I didn't have anything to poison it or anything like that. We hit the Thunder Punch, we hit the Rollout, but it just wasn't, oh, it just wasn't enough. And we lost Buttercup. Rhett, I'm sorry, please don't kill me. Please don't be too upset, but we did, we lost Buttercup, and um, I'm sorry. But you did want to see Fampy, you guys, so we picked up Fampy and there was no time to be sad because we had a gym to beat. So we head on back to avenge our fallen friend Fampy, uh, who we decided that we would get some levels on uh, on the way back through, um, taking out some pretty tough Pokemon again along the way. Um, and it was time for us then to take on Winona, it was all that was left. Um, this was, well, you'll see, this was tough. Uh, Aldrin once again showing why he is so incredibly good, uh, doing some decent damage to Polyrath. Thanks to her using the potion, we were able to stay in for an extra turn um, to use up some of these sleep turns. We got whacked with a submission, which hurt us quite badly, but we managed to get the static paralyzed and wake up, which was really, really, really good news um, because it meant it just gave us enough to survive that submission, but it meant that Aldrin was kind of done. We weren't going to be able to switch him in, so it was either keep Aldrin in or get him out of there. Um, she used Latias up next. Once again, big Wolfy Wolf steps in to... Um, to really save the day for us. Uh, Dragon Breath wasn't doing too much, and we know it couldn't hit us with a uh, Psychic-type move. It used Water Sport, 
We managed to do a water spawn, not too badly, obviously because it sucks. Um, and we, we took it out with a bite, which was awesome. We were going well, she had three Pokemon left. Next up was the problem. It was Octillery. I thought for a while, the only one who could take a water move was Bully Bull. I thought he'd be able to take a couple, not too badly. Oh man, I was wrong. I was so wrong. I couldn't switch anybody in. No one could take it for, no one could take a water move. All I'd be doing is wasting a turn. So I thought about it and I thought about it and I thought about it some more, but there really, really wasn't anything I could do. I had to go for a strength and hope for a crit. We did use strength, we didn't get a crit. Octillery missed Dr. Zuka, we hit another strength, could we crit? No, and we lost Bully Ball. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys, I'm so sorry, Bully Ball, but it meant we got the free switch into Aldrin, who whacked it with a thunder punch, knocked it out, and, uh, and I mean, from there, we were kind of home and dry. She had a couple of Pokemon left, but it wasn't too much trouble. We took out the Psyduck with a thunder punch, um, and yeah, we were, we were, we managed to clean up the rest of the gym without too much difficulty. But um, yeah, we lost another friend. It's a bad day to be a normal type in this team today. Um, oh guys, I'm so sorry. I know, I know you really like Rhett. I know you like Buttercup and, and Trunks. I know how much you liked Bully Ball. Uh, I'm real sorry, guys. There wasn't anything we can do, but we did survive. We got past the gym and we went and picked up our next new friend, uh, and said our goodbyes to Buttercup. So, um, so yeah, it's finally time. We're one and a half Nuzlocke through, and it's finally time for Kooky the Krabby to join us, um, which is really, really cool. Uh, I decided to go and uh, to go see if I could fly back to Slateport, but unfortunately, no one could learn fly, which kind of sucks. I released Latios, which again is kind of part of what I need to do because it was a static encounter. And yeah, there we go. That was that. So you guys, you can choose from Altaria, Spinarak, Shuppet, Fluffy the Arcanine, Genie the Metatype, Pettigrew the Raticate, Hot Lips the Magmar, and Archimedes the Hoot Hoot. Let me know any nicknames, choose your Pokemon. Thank you for watching, bye bye!